on this edition of Terriers Take 5. Substitution pink for scarlet. The women's ice hockey team skates strides against breast cancer. Playing with a target on their backs, the women's tennis team is ready to defend their conference title. And if you look through the snow, you'll see spring right around the corner. Ryan Poley and the men's lacrosse team looks ahead to the 2015 campaign. Time to warm up. Terriers Take 5 starts right now. Hello all and welcome to Terriers Take 5. I'm Brian Moore. One game a year, the Terrier women's ice hockey team looks just a bit different. Be you don the pink sweaters to skate strides against breast cancer. On Sunday, January 25th, the women's ice hockey team hosted the annual Hockey Skating Strides Against Breast Cancer. In an effort to raise money for breast cancer research at the Boston Medical Center and the Friends of Mel Foundation, BU invited fans to purchase commemorative merchandise and partake in a silent auction featuring a game-worn terrier jersey. BU raised more than $4,000 for their efforts. BU put on quite a show on the ice as well, lighting up the lamp a season high nine times, including scoring five goals in the first period, a feat that last happened in 2008 as BU cruised to a 9-2 victory over Vermont. The game had even more meaning for sophomore goalie Mia Becker, who saw her first collegiate action in front of her mom and grandmother, both breast cancer survivors. It's a big game. We have the, the Terriers Strive uh, Against Breast Cancer game. Both your mother and your grandmother survivors of breast cancer. So you get to go in your first career game and you get to do it in a special event like this. How did that feel? It was amazing. Um, my mom is here too, so that was even more special. My dad and uh, her service dog, Levi, who's basically my brother. Um, it, it was really special. I can't even put it into words. It was, it was great. The champs are here, literally. As the season just gets underway, we get a chance to talk with junior Johanna Huatu from the 2014 Patriot League champion women's tennis team. And Johanna, let me ask from the get-go, first of all, is when you hear that people still referring to it as the reigning Patriot League player uh, and champions, it's kind of got to be a good feeling. It never gets old, does it? Um, yeah, I mean, it definitely feels good. I mean, and I hope we can get the championship this year too. So I hope we have a really good season. Is it any different this year knowing that, you know, people know what you came in as? Is the Patriot League in your first season, you know, you're still feeling out the conference and they're also trying to get an idea of what you've done. Do you feel like now you're well known in Patriot League and you kind of have a, an X on your back going forward? Well, definitely I think this year is a little bit different from last year. As you said, no one knew really what to expect from us, but this year, um, I think people expect good results from us. So um, either it can be pressure, but also I think it can, we can take it as a confidence to us. Thanks so much, Johanna. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. <laughs> Last year was a season of firsts for the BU men's lacrosse team. The first year as a Division I program. Their first win at Lafayette. And now the first time the Terriers can build and improve for the next season. We look ahead to 2015 with head coach Ryan Poley. Uh, last year, just the, the freshmen getting to play the majority of the time was huge for our program. And you know, we look forward to them being more experienced and more composed and you know, playing a great schedule down the stretch, playing three tournament teams in Loyola, Harvard and Duke, the, the, the eventual national champion. Uh, it was just great experience and we're going against you know, unbelievable players and unbelievable programs and successful teams and um, just that experience is really, we're hoping that it uh, you know, continues to help us grow our program and, and really put us in a good position uh, t to win some of these close games next year just due to the experiences that we had last year. One of the things about playing uh, a full season is now teams have, have film on you and uh, you know, we have film on, on teams as well so I, I don't think it's uh, we, we don't concern ourselves too much about what, what the opponents are going to scout us and how they're going to defend us. You know, we're worried about ourselves and what we need to do to get better. Uh, certainly, we're going to scout opponents and, and try to take away their strengths. And we know teams are, are going to look at last year's film and, and see how teams were successful defending us. And, and we're going to continue to work on uh, what we need to work on. 
and um, you know we're just excited to kind of kick off this new year, play a new opponent, uh, and uh, you know get the season going and have a great 2015 season. Get those snow blowers out and clear path. The BU men's lacrosse team opens up play on Nickerson Field on Saturday, February 7th, hosting Mercer. But that will do it for us here on Terriers Take 5. Continue to look for new episodes coming out on Thursdays. For all news BU, check out the Athletics website at GoTerriers.com. For producer Leo Parra and our entire crew, I'm Brian Moore saying, let's go BU.